Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Hello. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about activity-based costing. And in this video, we are going to calculate the rates for the activity cost pools. So in the first video, we allocated the cost that we had um, and calculated the total cost for each activity pool and these costs are actually now listed up here as the cost of each pool. So our order processing is $47,900 moving the product in the warehouse is $45,200 and repackaging our items is $129,900. Now the thing with activity costing is that each activity pool will have a different driver and so it's really important to make sure that when you're calculating your rates that you're cognizant of which driver you're using. Now in this case, like I've got a nice little chart that tells me that the driver is the number of orders and it gives me, you know, the number of orders that I have for moving. It's the number of moves and it tells me how many moves and for repackaging. It's the number of items and it gives me the number of items. So in this example, I have like a nice little chart and it's all laid out for me, but you might not necessarily get a nice little chart like that. So you have to be really careful when you read the problem that you look to see okay so if my activity is order processing then what is my driver okay my driver is the number of orders okay so you might have a problem where everything's like in a paragraph and you've got to pull it out so just make sure that you realize that each pool is going to have a different driver if they all use the same drivers then we could use departmental overhead rates or we could use plant-wide overhead rates we wouldn't be using activity-based costing so the thing that makes activity-based costing different is that each activity has its own driver. Now other than that, this is exactly the same as calculating a plant-wide overhead rate or a predetermined overhead rate. We're just calculating a rate and then we're going to apply that rate to whatever activity we're doing or product we're making. Okay, so don't you know, don't let, oh, this is activity-based costing. This is completely different. It's not. It's exactly the same as what we've done before. So I'm going to create a column where I'm going to put my rates. So I'm going to put this up here. Okay, so now for order processing, my total cost is $47,900. And that's based on the number of orders, right? That makes sense if it's order processing. That's based on the number of orders. And so I've got 14,000 units. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of write it in here. I'm going to take I'm going to take 47,900 and I'm going to divide it by 14,000 orders. So that means that my rate, if I take 47,900, which is the cost of the pool, divided by the activity, remember estimated cost divided by estimated activity, that was predetermined overhead rate. So my rate, if I round it to the nearest penny, is $3.42 per order. If you've watched my previous videos or you've read any of my content, you know that I'm really big on labeling your numbers. This is super important with activity-based costing because as we get into applying this, if I, if I don't know that this is $3.42 per order, well, I might think, well, maybe it's per move or maybe it's per, you know, per item. Okay, so putting in, labeling your orders or labeling your rates really helps when you're trying to apply these later. Okay, so I know it seems kind of, you know, it's kind of second grade, but trust me, my students that do this do so much better on these problems. So for moving, 
my total cost is 452 so I'm going to divide 45,200 by 36,000 moves and my rate for this is one dollar and 26 cents per move okay always labeling always labeling all right and then repackaging I've got one hundred twenty nine thousand nine hundred dollars divided by one hundred fifty six thousand and that is going to give me eighty three cents put 083 83 cents per item right okay so now here's my rate so that's it that's number two number two is done so remember we did number one in the first video number two that's it that's all you have to do okay so now now I have a shipment and it's asking me to calculate the cost of a shipment that includes 12 orders so I'll write this down 12 orders 20 moves and 400 repackaging 400 items okay so now we need to calculate the total cost of this shipment okay with 12 orders 20 moves and 400 items well all we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our rates right and since my rates are all labeled Okay, I don't have to think, oh, orders, that means order processing. No, 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 everything's labeled right here. I don't have to pay attention to anything else in the problem because all my rates are labeled. So 12 orders, I know that that is $3.42 per order. 20 moves, 20 moves are $1.26 per move. And then 400 items at 83 cents per item. See how much easier that is when everything's labeled? Because then I don't have to like, I don't have to sit there and go, okay, orders. Oh, this one's orders, right? Okay, this is orders. So I got to look at this rate. No, 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 it's all labeled, right? So we didn't even have to worry about that. Okay, so when you do the math out, okay, so $12 or 12 orders times three dollars and forty two cents per order is forty one dollars and four cents twenty moves at one dollar and twenty six cents per move is twenty five dollars and twenty cents and then four hundred items times eighty three cents per item is three hundred thirty two dollars even and so if I add up the order processing cost the moving cost and the repackaging cost I get a total cost for this shipment of three hundred ninety eight dollars and twenty four cents so that's really that's it okay so once you have your rates remember make sure that you make sure that you label your rates because it's going to make your life so much easier then multiply the number of each activity that is in the item that you're trying to figure out the cost for multiply it by your rate to get your cost for each item in the activity cost pool then add up the items to get the total cost that's it so if you like this video Please make sure to like it, leave comments, share it with your friends who might be taking managerial accounting, um, and also um, visit my website, accountingandfocus.com, which is a resource site that has all my videos on it, plus some additional written examples um, to help you get through your accounting courses. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.